Warning, this show opening contains anime content. Anthrom insisted at- <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor to welcome you to our last ever AV Awards. This is the last time we will meet each other, making memories through a night filled with drama and toxicity. We've been together since 2017, but nothing will last forever. But before we part ways, let's make this show our best. Please welcome our nominees for the development categories. Please welcome our nominees for the community categories. Please welcome our nominees for the airline categories.
Ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seatbelts and put your tray tables up as we introduce the ones who will guide us throughout these awards tonight. Please welcome our host, One Patromino and Watery the Game. Okay, so Royal Aviation has a lot of That's people. great. That's fast. Is it? Oh, yeah. oh crap. So forget about that. Look, do you have it? Do you have the right uh, script? Hang on, let me have a look. Uh... No, that one, that one there. there. Oh, there we go. There we go. Welcome to the Avi Awards, where we're celebrating 14 of the finest achievements in the Royal Aviation community. It's been a year, give or take, since the last AV Awards, and since then a lot has changed. We've had drama, lawsuits, plus a couple of accomplishments, you know, here and there. We're here to commend those who work their very hardest on this LEGO game, which actually, when we say it like that... Yeah, that's, that's kind of depressing, isn't it? Anyway, without further ado, here's how the voting works this year, so you can be 100% sure we haven't accepted any bribes from Ryanair to rig the votes. Again. Wait, what? Ah, uh, yes. Welcome back to Avia Awards. And happy holidays to all. <laughs> it's sure been a hot minute since I last attended an Avia Awards event. What the f <laughs> Yo, what's up and welcome back to the vlog. Today we're going to be pranking some potential followers. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's video. Yo, what's up, bro? Have you voted for AV Awards yet? Uh, no, I don't know how to vote yet. Bro, it's impossible, says, bro. You just got pranked. Everyone knows to go to this link if they want to vote. This is why you're a pet. Yo, what's up, bro? Have you voted for an AV Awards yet? I mean, I keep getting kicked out for shit. Yeah. You just got pranked, loser. This is why you're really sussy and mid. But for those that don't know, you want to send a message to this person on Discord right here, bro. Want to join my free gift cards giveaway? Subscribe to my channel, like the video, and turn notifications on. And finally, tell me on the comment section that you subscribe. We're totally gonna prank some more people, bro. We're totally gonna do it. Oh my god, like, yeah, I'm totally going to pay for everyone that votes for I gotta do it for the vlog, bro. <laughs> nice try, bitch. Your results are going to be skewed negatively by the judge panel. Too bad you're such a loser. <laughs> oh, what's up, bros? I'm just doing my push-ups. But for those nerds out there, that dude knows. Here's the judge. Nerds. We judges have to follow. In any case, thanks for watching. Bros. Make sure to smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and drop a totally devious and sussy comment down below. And I'll pin my favorite comment. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to vote. Your boy Anthrum is out. Well, now I'm certain there'll be no corruption at all in this awards. But on that note, without further ado, I am happy to declare Evie Awards 2022 officially commenced. Patron here, your guide once again to the AV Awards 2022! Airports are more than just a place to host flights from. In Reviation, they're the explorable face of your airline and will have many players judging every aspect from the architecture to the realism to the airliner that's currently hopping gate 3. Developers put countless hours toiling over these city-sized mazes of corridors, terminals, shops, booths and gates in order to make them as realistic as possible. But who's done the best job? Let's put that award bit back into the AV Awards and give out the first one. But first, the nominees are... Rostock Leg by Le Monde Airlines. 
John F. Kennedy by Global Skies Washington Dulles by United Sydney by Qantas Wow, look at all those amazing nominees! Aren't they just great? Yeah, sure, why not, mate? So, does this mean they all come off the stage now, or, or what? Actually, I think that depends on whether the dev team have fixed the screen or not. Uh, I'm getting thumbs up, which means I think we're going to have an overly drawn out animation showing off the votes. How exciting. Should we see who won? First winner, isn't this exciting? One down, and how many bloody more to go? Honestly, it's enough to justify this damn group shutting down. <laughs> Honestly, I couldn't agree more. Let's have a purge! Anyway, best CSG. Crack on. Constructive solid geometry or CSG aircraft are made out of Roblox parts that have been extruded, cut, unioned, and eventually lovingly sculpted into the gorgeous- JESUS CHRIST WHAT HAVE YOU MADE?! KILL IT KILL IT KILL IT KILL IT! <coughs> anyway, um, we need to give out a made up prize to figure out who's the best at it, completely excluding the person who made, uh, that. The nominees are... Knight RBX Efficient 7 underscore X Simulated Josh Realistic Train Dev Damn, Virtual Lego looks kinda advanced. Roblox Dev Scoper? Yeah, alright Pat. I tried deving once, I woke up 6 miles away, 4 hours later, with a hangover. Are you sure that was deving? I mean, I think so. It definitely started with the letter D, anyway. Right, anyway, there's an award to give out. Yeah, reward, crack on. Jesus, Pat, were you okay making those clips? Oh, why? Is it obvious that they were all made at 3am? No, not at all, mate. I mean, Anthem edited them, and even just copying my style, he did a better job than me, which is a bit embarrassing. Right, anyway, next up is the best mesh developer. Let's have a look. Mesh is just another form of modelling that is far too complicated for me to explain in just a few seconds. I say that like I understand it myself, so don't worry, I really don't. Um, anyway, that's not important right now. What is, is that someone needs to be told that they're better at it than anyone else, uh, in the opinions of some other people. Yeah, that's how that works. The nominees are... Spider Catcher 1 from Zero Tech. 
Dev Decimal from Eurowatt. Cocobin underscore HD. Omnidev from Nicoletta. Do you actually know what a mesh model is? Not really, but I'll just pretend. I mean, to be honest, in my eyes, if you need to go outside of Roblox Studios to make an asset, then you're just really trying too hard, aren't you? Anyway, someone has to get the award, so let's do that. Next thing! You know, if I really put my mind to it, I could make a Roblox brick. And I'd pay to see it. I beg your pardon? What? What? Uh, tech, tech group, can we talk about that instead? Actually, why I talk about it when we can put on my very well-made little intro video thing? Yeah, I'd rather that, actually. Good, right. On we crack! Developing good assets on Roblox is a pretty tricky gig, but lucky for us, we have some people with nothing better to do, so they've politely done all the hard work for us. These are the groups that have developed, let's be honest, most of the tech you'll ever see on your Roblox airline flights, so maybe they deserve an official AV award or something. Crazy pitch, let's give it a go. The nominees are... Euro White. Vuela. Mia Tech. Prop. I'm patron and I'm stupid and smelly. Oh, wait, Patrick, did you edit my prompts? Oh, no, I just took that from the next row of recraft script. Wait, have, have you got them into my files? <laughs> yeah, but that's not important right now. I think that is bloody important. What, what are you doing? I hate this job. I hate this job. Next thing, crack on. Well, taking a break from the awards now, this next sequence is called Greetings from the Executive Producer, words are hard, a title that makes no sense, seeing as a greeting is something that should be done at the start of a show, and we're already about 20 minutes into the bloody thing. Right, anyway, enough about me. Um, producer, greet us please, do the thing. Good afternoon, AM viewers, viewers. Executive Producer Daniel here. I hope this live show is going <clears throat> better than last year. AM viewers is entering its fourth anniversary, with this being the last. <laughs> With the occasion, I thought I'd let you, our viewer, see how many ridiculous hours it takes to put on this one and a half hour show. Free work of A-Viewers begins in mid-October. Hey patron, it's A-Viewers time! Oh, f no, 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 no! And begins by establishing our management team, which consists of eight members. From October till November, there's an awful lot of administrative activity going on, with discussing, planning, and teaching. 
Early November, we start developing on the theater, red carpet, booking, and voting center. This year's development team consists of seven people with different community backgrounds. We usually schedule about 20 days on the red carpet theater, as we just tweak on the last year's design. This year we upgraded the seating, stage, and nominee room, as you might have seen from the marketing. At the same time as development progression, the judges start to prepare the elimination rounds and official voting, which takes place on the 1st of December. This year had a bit of delay, but we hope that most of you got to vote in time. The judge team are the ones who handle the fairness, categories, gathering votes, and deciding the selected nominees and winners. And that brings me to the next point, our booking department. The booking department are responsible for handling all the nominees in AV Wars, giving them information regarding the event, hosting the red carpet, arranging interviews, as well as organizing nominees into their respective tables, making sure that our nominees are taken good care of. This year we upgraded the marketing, with an upgrade of 4 people working in the marketing team, making sure that we are representing the AVWars in an effective yet delicate way. Okay, 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 I'm nearly done. But I can't stress enough how many people are involved into making this award show happen. I've still not mentioned our TV crew and lighting crew. Nord TV is closing down on the 1st of January, making this our last ever project. I'd like to spend my screen time to thank my colleagues and our viewers. Now. Enjoy the rest of the show, unless uh, Roblox servers crash again. Um, executive producer, out. and gents and welcome to ROAV News live from Avia Awards. Here are the top stories for tonight. Rubius has decided to sue Anthem for 10 Robux. We reached out for a statement from the Rubius team Don't and they are yet dare. to reply. VR Fat sponsors Calder Dragon's game against Bin FC this weekend in an attempt to reach a wider audience. And United appears to follow in the footsteps of their real-life counterparts in overbooking their flights. Keep up the good work, guys. Oh, I'm hearing we have just got footage from the event. Let's take a look. Uh, swiftly moving on. In other news, Patron, world-renowned LEGO YouTuber, <laughs> leaks his address to the world in his Discord server. We do please ask you not to send any suspicious packages to 60 Heronway, Brentwood, CM13, 2LQ. It would be a real shame if anything of the sort were to occur. Another lawsuit is brewing as the row of community collectively sues Skirden for kidnapping everyone's mothers in a crate. Yeah. I'll be suing Skirden for this! <laughs> One of Roblox's most expensive LEGO asset makers, Prop, has decided to pull out due to the steep pricing of Avia Awards seats. And finally, Anthrum insists he is not a weeb. We do not have any reliable sources to confirm if this is the case, so please do not take what we say as gospel. for that watery. That's not my address by the way, I swear. So please don't send any suspic suspicious packages there or I'll be, I mean, sorry, wh whoever owns that house <laughs> will be very upset. Right, anyway, best YouTuber, let's crack on. Next thing. on a bike we're only on the fifth award this is taking far too long is everyone having fun uh no uh, um i wonder how many of you are getting drunk watching this probably none of you i am I, it's the only way i found to bloody cope with this 40 minute joke sorry where was i crap yeah the best youtuber oh, i'm in this character oh, okay. 
Okay, catch up, catch up. Catch me. Ah! <laughs> Why am I rambling? This should be good. Um, I'm in this one. Unless I lose, then it's sh uh, The organizers haven't told me if I win or not, so. Uh, yeah. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. People who've made videos about radiation is best of known. Nominees! Executive 757. Patron. Eclipse Down Bad. Neoptic. The best YouTuber awards. Now, I am a nominee, and the directors haven't told me in advance if I've won this or not, so I'm fairly keen to see the results of this one. As long as you don't win, I think we're safe. You know, you always were my absolute favourite human being. Knob. God, I hate YouTubers. Alright, just, just show the thing. Show the thing. Next award! <laughs> Boo! Here's Daniel. Didn't give me my award for two there. years running! Um, unless I did win that last award, in which case, woo! Every award! Yeah! Right. Again, I haven't been told if I won that best YouTuber one, so that's just my. Anyway, best event! Yeah, there was a few events this year, wasn't there? There was air shows, air. Best event! Best event! Christ. Yep. Nominees are. I'm going for the bar. It won't work, what? Daniel. What's the award? Oh, best event! There, there was air shows, air. Me. Um, uh, if the AV Awards uh, organisers actually need to bleep these, I'm really sorry, I've tried my best. I'm so ill. Um, where am I going? Uh, my head's spinning. Uh, um, uh. NATA 22. VRFAT 2022. Zero Tech Landing Competition. AV Avi Awards. <laughs> Wait, what? The best event. I think it's pretty funny that the AV Awards have gone and included themselves on this one. That's pretty funny. Doesn't that mean people voted for them to be on there? Shh, no, it's funny to pretend that they just nominated themselves because they could. I mean, right, who actually won? Screen! I love the fact this community can get together and create such amazing events like these. Except when the community don't get together and shout at each other while making exposure documents. That is ex well, that's pretty specific. Accurate though. I mean, it's just Roav in a nutshell. Not wrong. Welcome back, by the way. The head judge Anthrum just kicked just kicked Orji from the game. So Anthrum, <laughs> well done. Anyway, right. The new category for this year: the best display team. Roll the clip. Let's 
play team. You know how planes are cool? Well, they're even cooler when they're flown lower and more dangerously. The nominees of this category are those who have done their sketchy flying so well that some people decided they should be given a shout out for a 40 bloody minute long virtual award show. Hope you're proud of yourselves. Right, nominees, reveal yourselves. Virtual Roblox Blue Display Group. Roblox Red Arrows. Virtual Roblox Patrouille Acrobatique de France. Roblox Red Bull Air Force. I must say, I do love the Virtual Roblox Blue Display Group with a passion. <laughs> I think it's got to be the Virtual Roblox Patrouille Acrobatique de France for me. Yeah, I've no clue if the answer do an answer dude actually pronounced that correctly, but it sounded pretty good, didn't it? You did a good job. Yeah, almost as good as mine. Right, <laughs> anyway, who won? Play the clip! Yeah, do the thing. Let's see the thing. Next award is called Aviator of the Year. Does that mean you're the best pilot? Nicest personality? Yeah, how the hell would that even be measured? Yeah, this award is getting more confusing the more we talk about it. So let's stop and let's just roll the thing. Let's just make our lives easier. Cool. How many of these bloody things are there? Aviator of the Year Award. Ooh, fancy. This award is given to those who are simply better than everyone else in the community. And now we're giving you a way to prove it and rub it in everyone else's nose. You <laughs> Right, the nominees are... Lucky. Opicity. Patron. Neoptic. figured it out. You figured what out? You figured out that the Aviator of the Year can't be anything good because you were nominated. Oh, well, sorry, who are you again? Yeah, yeah, keep talking, lanky tall man. <laughs> Honestly, just play the clip, let's get started. <laughs> no, so, big man, come down to my level, knock you out. The show never ends, does it? I should have dropped out when I saw the f***ing scene. Where is it? Wait, are we live? <gasps> Hello, ladies and gentlemen! I am standing here with our very own Anthem, our lead judge, who has been responsible for the whole fairness and voting here at AV Awards 2022. How are you doing, Anthem? You know, f*** got off on terrible. I know, I've been a slave to Danosburg for, you know, two weeks. That's good to hear. Would you be able to quickly introduce me to the rest of the judge team, too? Presents. All right, nice to meet you all. There are not a huge amount of changes since last year's categories, other really than the best display team. Um, Why did you decide to add that? You know, Twitter is cringe as F, and uh, air shows are a very forgotten part of the community, so I wanted some uh, representation for them as well. You mentioned that judges should get less power in some categories. Why have you decided to do this? 
Because some categories are less prone to bias than others, uh, individuals have less influence than groups, and some groups have varying levels of members. So, uh, for example, if one were to advertise, it'll have a different effect depending on the category. Some of the nominees have been previously caught paying for their votes. How seriously can this affect the results of the awards? They weren't necessarily paying others, but you know, there were definitely some shady moves that I saw. It can be mostly uh, contributed to affect the results, but also timestamps actually exist. So we can look at patterns and adjust accordingly. Also, because of the amount of people who voted this year, it's not a big enough to make a huge difference. So any adjustments are very minuscule. What for you has been the most difficult part of the AV Awards? The video. <laughs> so how did you deal with this? Slave <sighs> waiver. Grinding my very own hands of my slave master, All right, Daniel thank Smurf. you very much for your time, Anthem. Do you want to do the honors? Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, we are very approaching our last few categories, but to take it away, we need to look into the airlines who got the most advanced technology. Another bloody tech award! Has your airline spent an ungodly amount of hours polishing up your or sold your elderly grandmother in order to ensure that two pixels of the nose gear didn't clip through the side of your aircraft? Well, I've got some good news for you! This is your award! Unless you weren't nominated, in which case you probably should have sold your grandpa as well. The nominees are... Le Monde Airlines Qatar Skylink Dynasty. Wow, another tech award. It's not like we need another one of these, is there? There has been a good few, hasn't there? Only a few awards to go now, though. Last little push, and we can bugger off forever. Good stuff. Play the kit, please. The sooner we can get through this, the sooner we can leave. Thank God. I don't know, PNL put in the boats. Congrats, your airline officially has the shiniest check-in machines, or whatever's considered important by airlines nowadays. This community has far too many airlines, I reckon. Long overdue a purge. That sounds pretty threatening there, Pat, you're right. Must purge the airlines. Must purge the airlines. Must okay, purge the, the airlines. Guys. Must pay purge the, the airlines. Must purge the airlines. Is that okay? <laughs> uh, PNL. PNL. Don't worry, only three awards left. We're almost there, and then you never have to do this again. AV Awards is committing not alive after this, so you guys can rest easy knowing that you never have to sit through this again. Small airlines! Ooh, that's kind of small. Our small and our airlines. I don't really need to spell this out for you. In order to qualify for this, your uh, airline needs to be like smaller than a thousand members. Christ knows if that's Roblox group, Discord members, whatever. The judges have a system. I'll take that word for it. Anyway. The nominees are Azul Linhas Aéreas Virtual, Sweet Connect, Tap Air Portugal, United Airlines. Oh God, here we go. The most drama filled section of the show. Let's try not to say anything that would upset the airline executives. What, like the fact they're all angry little 12 year olds? Okay! You screen, do the one one thing that I'm gonna hear when I sleep. Right, quickly please.
big congratulations to that airline for doing an amazing job of being small and an airline. Damn, you're really earning that paycheck tonight, aren't you, Watery? Wait, what? Paycheck? You're getting paid for this. Uh, what? No, of course not. That was a joke. Moving on, moving on. I knew that was a good idea about this. Mid-sized airline. Wow, look at this runtime padding. Last year I joked about how the Naughty TV crew is letting me say anything I want on these things. Right, Christ, mid-sized airlines. Bloody hell, you can get your award. The nominees are... Dynasty. Qantas. Skirden. Korean Air. Wow, look at all of these airlines that are medium in size. This job is great fun. Right, reveal the results, director, producer, god, man, Jesus, whatever. cameras here. You know, I spent a good five minutes before that Roev news segment just practicing how to pronounce skews. Sky skews, skews, skews. Skies are us, Change your bloody name. It's a pain in the for unqualified award hosts to pronounce. Thanks. Best Large Airline Award. That's quite big. Impressive. Leaping finally. Right, in order to qualify, airlines need to have over 5,000 members and enough bots to spam them hard enough that the nomination stages. Yes, the organisers won't bloody say it, but I will. Right, let's not draw this out any longer than it needs to be. I'm going to bed. Crap, nominees, yes, here they are. Have fun, goodbye! Le Monde Airlines Qatar Ryanair Southwest Airlines Good news! What? It's the last award! At least it should be, if we're lucky. The last ever award ever given out by the AV Awards. It's starting to get a bit sad now. <laughs> oh my no, no, no. god, of course no, not. of course not. We absolutely can't wait to never do this again. I wonder how long we can build the tension to keep them waiting. Build the tension? I think we're ruining it more than anything. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Right then, last award, crack on. Screen, if you may. And that's it! That was the AV Awards! Still far too bloody long, but hey, I hope you guys had at least some fun tonight. I can promise you, absolutely none of the crew did. I can promise you that. But never fear, that's not just the AV Awards done for 2022, that's the AV Awards wrapped up and done for good! Let's say the side of the vibe, which, let's be honest, is quite 
in that case, I'll see you next year. Speak for yourself, that's me, like Dan and Justin, I'm off. Right. Anyway, thanks to the crew for having us both on, and thank you for watching. Watery out. What are you doing? Why would you do that? What? You stole my line. You stole my line. Daniel! I'm not having this. That was the last bloody straw. Daniel! Daniel! I'm not working with him. You know what you're doing. That was my bet. Where is the exit? I hate consumers. No, where's the bar? How do I leave? Daniel, there's still something. Daniel! Where's the bar? How do I... Maybe water's over. That's it. That's it. Leave. Stop watching the street. Why are you still watching? Get gone. Go away. I don't want you. Watery ruined this thing. I hope you all absolutely are livid at the Navy Awards. I hope you all got the awards you didn't want and you didn't win the awards you did. I don't like this. I didn't win the single bloody award. Why, why is this? Why is my mic still? I don't know. You can let me just do this. All right, sure. Why? Look, I didn't win a single bloody award. Two years running! I don't know how many bloody categories. It's just this case. All right, come on. Sorry, Daniel. <laughs> Everyone's gonna stand and wait for the chat. I'm gonna join you! I'm gonna hit my desk, but I bloody wish I could.